Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Gina DeVecchio. Well, I'm starting with the same camera for the fifth day in the row. Is that some sort of record? Perhaps, but the sun has been setting right around the same time as the start of the sh my weathercast. So 627 was the sunset there. You can see the view from Carmel Highlands where we have some smoke, as Aaron mentioned. We'll take a look at satellite and we also have some clouds moving in from the southwest as well. So that's going to be a nice change for us. But temperatures today were hot one more time. Look at this 101 for Scotts Valley, 97 for Santa Cruz. We anticipated that that northeast wind really warmed it up for Capitola at 96, 97 for Watsonville Aromas, 94 in Morgan Hill, and look at this, 94 for Moss Landing. Late this morning, you had a strong northeast wind, and that was gusty at times, pushing in that warm air, and that's why you warmed up to 94. 103 for San Juan Batista, one of our warmest spots, as well as Gonzales at 104, and then you can see all of those triple-digit numbers down the Salinas Valley. 99 for Salinas, we talked about that earlier, how that broke a record. And then you can see around the Monterey Peninsula, record-breaking heat in Monterey as well at 93, 93 for Seaside, and you can see all of those upper 80s to 90s around the peninsula. So here you can see that smoke. First of all, we'll let this loop a few times. You can see the smoke off the coast. So this is from the fire that is burning just towards the east of Fresno, northeast. So that is the Creek Fire. That smoke still uh, filling into the Central Valley, and that has pushed off our coast. Now we're seeing that wind pushing it back in. Also, we have some clouds moving in from the southwest, so that's painting a nice scene for this evening as well. But have to mention that smoke. Unfortunately, we're seeing air quality worse in just a bit. Nothing as bad as we've been seeing for the last month or two, but still seeing some moderate conditions in some areas. So you may smell the smoke or see it and just want to reiterate that that is not from a new fire. As for our winds across the area, you can see primarily coming in from the north, a little bit of a west influence, a little breezy in some spots, and that's cooling you down as well as a little bit of smoke and a little bit of clouds near the coast and that breeze. So temperatures near or below where they were yesterday at this time. I say cooling you down, but it's still hot. 90 degrees in Gilroy, 76 in Watsonville, and you can see those 90s down the valley as well. Central Valley still seeing 95 in Redding, and tomorrow we're going to start a little bit of a cooling trend. So this will feel quite nice. Still 80 degrees in Monterey for tomorrow, though. So really looking like a nice weekend. Now I want to take a look down towards our south because there's a low pressure system. That's what's bringing us this cloud cover. That looks like it's going to pull towards the northwest and move out of here. Maybe bring some clouds tonight into early tomorrow morning, but that's it. I don't think it's going to influence us much. Heat advisory expires tonight. Red flag warning for Northern California expires tomorrow morning. And then for tomorrow afternoon, lots of sunshine and still going to be warm. As we go into Saturday night and Sunday, we'll start to see the return of the marine layer, kind of get back into our typical pattern of those morning clouds near the coast and then afternoon sunshine. I do want to stress, it's still going to be above average. We're still going to have warm temperatures, just not as hot as this week. So a cooling trend beginning. As for tonight, temperatures in the 50s to near 70s, so still mild. There you can see all of those upper 50s to 60s. Big Sur, one of our warmest spots the last few nights, still going to be warm. For tomorrow, Coast to Salinas, noticeably cooler, especially in some of those coastal spots that were near 90 today. You could be back into the mid to low 70s. Still hot inland, though. We do have an impact day for one more day with those slightly less hot conditions, but still lots of 80s to 90s. Up in the Bay Area, 80s to 90s as well. There you can see in the Santa Cruz Mountains getting up. It could touch 95 in some of our hotter spots like Boulder Creek and then near the coast. Lots of 80s, and we are going to be seeing those more comfortable conditions coming our way tomorrow. It's still going to be on the warm side, but more comfortable near the coast, as I mentioned. Monterey, 80 degrees expected. And then you notice those cooling temperatures throughout the weekend, and then next week, more mild. We're watching the end of next week. Couple models saying another warm up, not as warm, don't worry, <laughs> but another one showing cooler. Either way, it is going to be the beginning of some cooler, more typical. October weather, but then again, I guess typical is hot for October. You know, it's always a roller coaster ride in October. You can you know get hot, then it cools down, then it gets hot again. Mm -hmm. So pretty typical. Yeah, we know the drill.